right, everybody, welcome to the Studying Brew, episode 688 on this beautiful Thursday night. We are so happy to have you here. It is a, an, an awesome spring night, that's for sure. Uh, baseball is back in the air, so I am excited about that. Uh, and uh, what, you're not? No. no, it's fine. Okay. I don't mind it. it not... <laughs> <laughs> What's more importantly, we're on spring break here and we don't have our kids, so it's been nice and quiet. It's after a week of children by the by the hundreds it's been very quiet yeah it's been it's been relaxing uh but nonetheless we've been working our butts off thank you to all the people that have been mentioning and uh, spreading the word of kona the word is definitely getting out there uh definitely my phone is ringing off the hook and i do appreciate that because we don't get anywhere without the word of mouth and and getting results for you guys so i do appreciate it when you guys post on instagram uh you know when we do this stuff it's for free but you know, like they say, nothing's for free. You know, this is all brought to you by your members and people that are just spreading the word over on the Instagram or social media and just letting everybody know. So that way we can keep the lights on. Yes. So it's been nice. So thank you. Thank you to all of you. Uh, getting to that, my name is Andy. I am the guy that runs all the back office over here at Kona Butterflies. Get all the phones, get the text messages, do all that great stuff that uh, secretaries get to do. But you're not here for my secretarial skills. No, you're here for Brandy. She's got her Series 6, 63, 26, Series 65, and that Series 7, which makes her more than capable, more than qualified to teach you all the things you need to know. So that way you too can strut hard at that spring break party this year and you can have that uh, that pass notice, be fully licensed. Yes. Does it make you fun, laugh because you're like strutting around with your... I'm like totally picturing like a laminated certificate. Yeah, why not? And then people are like... What? Be like Rick, just be like Rick Flair next to the pool. Well, I would shoot. You put all that work in, I'd yeah. be I'd be just going around the pool, going woo, woo, just making people look at my pass notice. Exactly, and they'd be like, "What is that?" And you're like, "I'm set fully at an, an appointment." <laughs> exactly. I'm so glad you asked, Karen. Are you free next Wednesday, <laughs> seven o'clock? I'll come over and show you how this uh, little pass notice got me to do this business real quick. Here's my Zoom code. All right, let's meet up. You're right. I, I I agree. I'd rather the Kona shirt with the check marks for the pass. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Glad to hear it. Thanks. Thanks, Siri. It's nice when nice when we get that going on, right? We get all the devices talking. All right. Awesome. So let's get to it. Uh, it's been a great uh, week, and we've had some pass notices, but we need to get more, more, more. Uh, some of the things have been popping up. Uh, I wanted to give some helpful hints, guys. Uh, the one of the things that uh, came up for one of our uh, students, mm -hmm. it was uh, two years ago almost. She took this SIE, got gun shy, kind of scared, you know, kind of freaked out. Yes. Then, then uh, you know, because she didn't get a pass notice. Correct. Uh, you know, admittedly didn't put all into it, but you know, still got that that uh, that. That oh those those four letter words you know yeah that we don't like that, that starts with the F and I'm not talking about funky it ends with the L yes uh, the other one yeah not the other one and uh, wasn't happy about that and uh, if you don't know this but especially if you're in Primerica I guess right or in general uh, in general in general yes. uh, if you guys don't know this if it's been two years since your last attempt your attempts reset yeah. So upon know knowing this, uh, I, I said, hey, you should probably, you know, call in and uh, see what your status is because you just took it. You didn't get a pass and you came close. You were like, she was this time was like, like within a point. Yeah, yeah. Last time it was like within lots. Lots. <laughs> the gap was big. There was a <laughs> so this time it was it was in mere, mere inches away from uh, getting that, that touchdown. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you should call. So they gave a call to FINRA. Mm -hmm. Come to find out, they were like, hey, if you take your next attempt before the 16th, it's going to count as your, uh, your this this last attempt will count as a second attempt, and that next one will be your third. And then she's, then she's like, okay, what if I wait after the 16th? Oh, the next one, if you wait after the 16th, it'll be a second attempt instead. Yes. Um, and, and guys, uh, I've had people who, it's been a minute in between tests. I, I have them send me when the last time they took it. And now look, guys, cancels and no-shows don't count towards that count. So it's literally attempt. So if there was a score there, that's what counts, right? You get three attempts within, basically, you get three attempts, and then you have to wait six months. Yeah, if you sit in front of a computer and push go, 
correct. That's an attempt. That's an attempt. Exactly. So if there is more than a two year to the date gap between the att- your last attempt and the attempt that you're about to do, it resets those three attempts. Yeah. And some of you might be on the edge of that and you might be like, oh, let me go check because I might be a week away. Yeah. And you can either call them or you can just log into your SIE. Log into your SIE. I'm sorry, log into your FINRA and and it'll be on there too. Okay. So, so that's a helpful hint of guys. So Mm -hmm. if if you've had these attempts on the books, I would look that up, make, see where you're at and see, you know, maybe you're a week away from that happening and maybe you want to reschedule. So you're, you're, you get at least that, uh, no pressure situation. Yeah. And, and that's really what it's for guys. It's, it's for that, you know, I was talking to somebody earlier today and they're like, this is my third attempt. So that's really weighing on me. And I'm like, and that's the problem. Like you're, it's going, going to be, if that's the forefront of your mind, that's going to be even harder to get through. So you, you got to kind of not care. Yeah. Because you know, it, you can't control your brain and what it chooses to focus on. Right. And the more you, sometimes our brains are like this. Like if I tell you not to think about elephants, what do you automatically think about? That's my elephant. elephants. You know what I mean? It's kind of like one of those things. If you just sitting there going, I'm not going to think about failing. I'm not going to think about failing. What you're already thinking about failing. Yes. Those words are in your brain. So you got to think about passing. Yes. You got to replace it with what they actually you want to focus on. And then if you keep, 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 you know, spiraling out of control about what an attempt it is, what you know all the negativity that's just what takes over and that's exactly the outcome you're going to get exactly so the best thing you can do is only visualize and think about the things that you want to materialize not the things you don't want to materialize does that make sense yes so if you're one of those people they're like a doomsdayer Mm -hmm. you know you know what i mean all they think about is all the negatives and then they go well i can't help it i'm just a pessimist that way i'm just not one of these crazy optimists i'm a glass half empty i'm a glass half empty because that's how i live listen you need to live differently (laughs) you need to really change it up you need to start becoming glass full you really got to change gears here it's a much better and happier brighter place when you switch it up and you focus on the things that could happen and and will happen and you want to happen and that's the way it is. You know what I mean? If yes. the things happen negatively, guess what? You look for the positive. Mm-hmm. You're like, well, I'm well, I'm glad that happened because that just gives me the time to refocus and do this. I think we've heard the saying of every cloud has a silver lining. It, it is true. And then also uh, Napoleon Hill always said, uh, you know, that's where we get our positive mental attitude. If you haven't read that before, anything by him, I would definitely search it out. He's always said, for every negative thing, there's all uh, something that is positive of a, uh, equal or greater value. So for every negative that happens, there's also a positive of a, equal and greater value. So you just have to pay attention and focus on that positive. Very true. And then you attract it. Exactly. All right. That's my pep talk for and helpful hint for the night. Uh, those are two things that came up to me, uh, came uh, in my conversations on the phone today in Brandy. And so we wanted to put that out there. So I hope that helps out some people. Make sure you know what your attempts and focus on the positive, folks. Yes. All right, let's get to it, Brandy. Uh, and speaking of which, if you haven't gotten onto our, uh, you know, our online courses, if you haven't joined our membership yet, if you didn't know there was a membership, if you think this is the 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 paid part of it, you think this is the course part, well, you are sadly mistaken. This is just a free sample. This is our study sessions at night. This is where we give you a little little dose. This is where we actually, you know, even if you're a member, I, I encourage you to be on here because you never know what you're going to get that's w- so helpful to you passing. I know it's free, but still. But we still try to make it helpful. No, we do. Nay, we do make it helpful for our members as well. Test taking techniques you get on here on the free and then you get uh, the passers like we just did on Tuesday. You get all their advice on what that worked for them. Plus you get like breakdowns like we did last night. So, and plus the other thing about keeping this kind of thing consistent with your studying is you're being consistent. You're in a routine. You're like, okay, I do this every night. I get in there. I'm going to try to have X amount of studying before I jump on here. Uh, and, and then, you know, that way I'm, I'm continuing, I'm getting in the role, I'm getting in the routine. You get in the routine of something and then it becomes habitual. And the next thing you know, it's just what you do. 
Right. You know what I mean? It's just what you do. And then the next thing you know, it's not so painful. It, it's just something that you're, 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 uh, it's just part of your routine. That's I, I don't know another way to say it. Uh, and if you're in the East Coast, you know, you watch it in the morning. Same thing. Uh, you know, you get in your breakfast in the morning and your coffee and you sit there and while you're getting your, your day face on, you know, you watch this. Mm-hmm. You know, and getting ready for the day, getting your stretching. Go ahead and do this. You know, watch this. Let this be the first thing you listen to. Yep. Make it part of it. Guys, consistency, 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 and self-discipline are the way to get it done. Period. That's it. If you don't have those two things, it doesn't matter who's teaching you. It, it's not going to happen. So if you like that, we also have, uh, you know, our paid part that we do a live sessions all week long. Plus, we have our, uh, you know, course material that can be watched at any time. And we have study guides that follow it that you can get or you can just use them separate. If you're you're staying with your whatever program you have and you just want to get our study guides because they're helpful and they really do highlight those areas of concern when you take these different exams. SIE 663, $20 each. They're ebooks. They also can be printed out. So if you do like those coffee rings and you do like those Cheeto stains all over your paper because you study in the 1900s like Brandy and I did, uh, you can do that, too. And so we also have an orientation replay that explains everything that we have paid and free, all the options. All you got to do is scan the QR code, hit the link in the chat, and you can get that going. Plus, you can join our Kona community as well, which is our Discord, which we kind of showed you a sneak peek last night of some of the stuff going on over there. And you can uh, ask Brandy some questions. Brandy's been working on that Discord. She's got some, uh, she's got people sending her messages for sure. Yes. I don't know if she did it today. She's got the smile on her face. I don't know what that means. But anyways, she's been working on it and she's working over there. And plus, we have some great students, you know, like Jamie, who's been helping out. Or if you have any technical problems, by the way, reach out to Jamie and Scout. They'll help you out with that Discord. No problem at all. Just at them or just, you know, message them direct or use the trouble tickets, whatever you can over there. They'll help you out. And so uh, if you need some uh, more information, 866-8-KONA, 866-439-5662. If you want more Kona information, the best way is just text me your email and I'll send you some basic Kona information. You can join in or uh, watch some of that stuff or and I'll send you some uh, stuff to get you going. So uh, reach me there at 866-8-KONA. Brandy is at uh, Discord. So you got to join the Discord to message her, all those contact things, content type things. Yes. All right, quick reminder for tomorrow, we have the 63 and 65 back to back like Batman and Robin starting at 7 a.m. in Hawaii, 10 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. East. That's for the Series 63. And the Series 65 is right after at 8 a.m. Uh, Hawaii, 11 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Mountain, 1 p.m. Central, 2 p.m. East. Both sessions are called Your Question Friday. Do you just bring those questions? Brandy's got those answers. And uh, it depends. If there's not enough 63 and 65 questions in there, shoot, she'll be answering questions from whoever's there. So it pays to be a member and showing up to those sessions because you never know. And if you're studying the SIE, let me tell you something. As 65 material is on the SIE. So you never know. You might hear some stuff that'll help you out with the SIE. Same with the 63 stuff. It is in there Uh, because that SIE tests on a lot of different exams. So you never know what you hear. And you can always ask a question. Is that on the SIE? Hey, it's available to you. You paid for it. Why not? Right. All right. We got a workshop. Oh, also, yeah, tomorrow. That's right. We have the SIE content recording tomorrow for the SIE people. I already sent that email out. Make sure you look for that special Zoom code. Uh, if you're on my telegrams, it's on, you know, I already put the link in there and uh, you can get that from there or uh, look through your email. It's in there from Patreon. I already sent the special Zoom code. Remember, it's a different one because it's only open to those tiers that are getting it, which is the 50 and the 100 for the for the SIE and the Series 6. Uh, and you guys get to get in there and watch that. Uh, we just participate in our new recording of our course material, what's coming out next. Some of you all already got some of the what, how we're going and doing this uh, while we were gone. I already dropped out some dropped uh, some of the capital market videos, some prime, uh, some of the um, products and risk. products and risk stuff. So you're just slowly getting some of it. But wait till you we get it all together, and you guys are going to have brand new course material. So you guys actually get to participate and see that for the SIE. And uh, hey, who knows? You get to ask questions about that, and you get just another another way of hearing it. Why not? You paid for it, like I said. Join in. Remember, it is that special code. We only use it for on the Friday. 
So look for that in your email box from Patreon. It'll look like that with that graphic. Open up that email and look for that code. Uh, it is there. Yep. So uh, we have that workshop this weekend, Saturday, on Saturday morning. That is free for everyone. It is uh, early in the morning. It is 8 a.m. Pacific time uh, over here on the West Coast. 9 a.m. Mountain, 10 a.m. Central, 11 a.m. Uh, East. And we're going to go over some questions, uh, not only just securities type, life questions, MLO questions, maybe some basic uh, Disney questions. I don't know what Brandy's going to pull out. I know I said Disney, pop culture questions, because it's not about the questions about the concepts. Yes. It's about the skill set. So we're going to use whatever questions we could show you just to show you. You can disarm any, just about any question with some of these techniques that we're going to show you. And we have had passers outside of what we teach, yeah. like tattooing, yeah. nursing, Mm -hmm. uh state boards for teaching yeah. uh what was the other ones uh plumbing, plumbing. <laughs> we had some crazy stuff and people were like yeah I, I was teaching uh so and so or i had so and so attend your your workshop on saturday before they went and took their test and they scored really high yeah and they were like that stuff really works yeah so it doesn't matter what you're testing this stuff is definitely a skill set it'll help you out and help you disarm some of those multiple choice questions Look, it's not a hack. It's not like these tests that are compromisable. It's just some things that will help you and have a tactic on and a skill set to attack these multiple choice questions that you never maybe thought about or looking looked at. And it'll help you give you that little bit of an advantage, especially when you run across questions you're not too sure about exactly. and you don't know, you know, what you're looking at. Honestly, we have those moments on these exams where you're just like, oh, my goodness. What is that word? Excuse it's the. The, yeah. the word is done. Yeah. I, I've done that. Yeah. The proctor. Uh, can you can you check and see if this is the right exam? Okay. I came in here for the SI, but I feel like I got someone else's exam because this looks like the fire department's exam. I think I got French. Yeah. I don't know what this is. How far off we are. All right. Larry, do you go? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. All right. Serious six tonight. We're going to go over six different exams. We're going to have a question from each one of them. Brandy's going to break each one of them down with those test ticket techniques that we're going to talk about. And show you on Saturday at the fundamental level. But tonight we're going to go full, full, full steam ahead, and uh, you'll be surprised. So don't uh, don't freak out or don't uh, you know exit out or ex don't don't zone out when you get to uh, an exam question that's not your exam. Instead, look at how she's attacking it. Look at the tactic she's using, the skills, how she approaches it. Start applying it to your skill set, and when you do your quizzes. It doesn't have to be all the time, every time, but there's some things I would adopt all the time. I would always read my answers first for 100%. But some of the times, guys, it's just when we don't know what's going on. Right. You know, if you got an easy layup, please go dunk the ball, throw it in there, slam it down. If you know that A is definitely the answer. Right. But when we're like, oh, I don't even know what's going on here. That's when you want to use these for sure. Yes. And tonight we also back up the technique with actual context as well. All right, let's go. Let's do it. So you pick some oh, I good forgot. ones, huh? I oh, wow. Forgot to cover the questions. It's okay, guys. We're going to train ourselves to look at the answers, even though the questions are not hidden, because that's what I forgot. All right, guys. So I look and I see 152. I see 950, 825 and remain unchanged. So those are my key words, right? And I'm not going to lie. I, I can see this. Why? Because dashes stand out, right? So dashes stand out and numbers stand out and dates stand out, right? So we can, you know, kind of go from there, but we're going to read it. We're gonna, we are going to read it, but I just wanted to show you guys that we can look at um, our, we can look at Oh my gosh, what do I want to say? We could focus on the things that stand out to us. It's okay to not read linear, okay? So. Never clean the garage before you get on to a Zoom because uh, that dust just goes right in your nose. Exactly. All right, so it says the ABC company stock is currently trading at 38. So my, my starting point is $38, right? When the company performs a four to one stock split. Now, the first thing I'm going to look for, guys, does it say reverse? No. So that means it's a split. So my, I'm going to increase my number and I'm going to decrease my price. And I'm starting with 38. So 152 is automatically out. And I know that that's automatically out. So I look and I'm like, dang, I have to do math. 
Now, guys, on the exam, it might be pretty obvious. What I mean by that, there might be only one choice that is lower than what we start off with, right? Right. You might have to do the math. But I'm going to show you here. You're like, man, but I remember, is this the is this the MMDD? Is this, you know, I don't know what I have to multiply by or divide by. It's cool. It's cool, right? So we had stock split, share of the price, right? Or what, what's the each share share is going to be, okay? So all I'm going to do, guys, is take 38. I know it has to be lower, so I'm going to divide it by four, which is that number right there. Now, that is going to be higher than nine. Here's how I got to it. Nine times four is 36. Eight times four is 32. Which number is closer to 38? Uh, 36. Exactly. That's the nine. That's the nine. That's the answer. That's it. That's it. I know you guys are like, what? That's how I did this one. I just went, well, there's 38, there's four. I know it's lower. It's probably going to be nine something. I only have 950 to choose from. Remember, this is like horseshoes when it comes to this. It's not necessarily like a math exam. No. As long as you get a number close to what's on the screen there, it's probably the answer. What they wanted you guys to know is that this is a split and that the price has to drop. That's what they want. That's the concept you have to focus on. That's it, guys. Again, this is not a math exam. No. And that is sometimes the hardest part of most people. They're like, I don't know. Did the math come out? Is there a, an exact formula for that? Yes. Yeah, but we don't need it. Remember, you're on a timed exam. Exactly. All right. So now I look at this one and I go August 1st, June 1st, September 1st, December 1st, June 1st. Right? Oh, look at that. All These are all dates. Okay. So I'm going to say, okay, here's June 1st, right? Um, uh, June, August, what, June, July, right? July, August, right? So this is only two months. I don't know of anything in securities that's two months. Mm. Like, I, I don't really know of anything. June 1st. Like all you're studying, you don't remember anything saying 60 days, two no, months. No, not really. Uh, September 1st, so June, uh, July, August, September. Okay, that's three months. Okay, maybe I've seen stuff that's 90 days. Okay. And then I, if I count to December, that's six months. And I can relate six months to restricted. Okay, restricted shares. So, and, and there are a lot of things that are 90 days. There's quite a few things that's 90 days, but, you know, um, quarterly, right? That's the other thing, quarterly, right? So I'm going to be looking for something that has something to do with either quarterly or six months. Okay. So I'm going to go into the question. I'm going to use a different color here. I'm going to go into the question and we're going to figure out what it is. So Jim is a resident of Virginia who purchases shares in a Rule 147 offering on June 1st. When he may, when may he sell his shares to a resident of Maryland? Okay. In all of our studying, this is the series six, but in all of our studying, when we talk about reselling shares and how long we have to hold shares, and, you know, that whole thing, isn't that usually we relate that usually to six months? Mm -hmm. There you go. That's the answer. That's it. And if you guys were in the series six live today, we talked about it. If you're studying, I would mark down rule 147 in six months. That's the correlation that I would put together. Rule 147. They'd eight. go together like peanut butter and jelly to me. They are restricted. That means six months, then can resell. That would be my notes. And I would and I would memorize that. Exactly. That carries from the SIE all the way through the six, right? Um, well, this is a six question. So there you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. Jason's like, how I pass the six is because of the techniques and definitely not content. <laughs> That's true. All right. Ew. Options. Now, if you guys, we do have some people who their next exam is the seven. Yeah. We do have some people who are actually studying the seven who are on. Yes. So I had to include a 
legit series seven question not a pretend one not a pretend one but a real one we have a real series seven person on here one that is this question right here is specific to the seven yes so i don't want you guys to freak out because i see you guys are already going oh Oh, yeah it is a series seven guys okay so but we're gonna make it easy of course we are so i see calendar spread which reminds me of dates right calendar dates I see price spread, which means I assume that means there's going to be different prices. Okay. Uh, a bear put spread, and this has to do with premium. And then I have a vertical spread, which is exactly the same as a price spread. This is the same thing. So immediately I can cross off both of those answers because I can't pick one of those. If there, if you guys see two answers that are legit the same, just now that is the same difference. Okay. As he said last night, I don't get. I still don't get it, but go ahead, continue. Right, it's the same thing, just different. Uh huh. Right. So immediately, B. They're both gone. Okay. Now check this out. I said that bear put spreads. You have to look at the premium, and calendar spreads. You got to look at the dates. Which is it's in the name calendar dates. Got it. Got it. Jessica has the following two options. I got long X Y Z October thirty put and a short X Y Z December. Oh wait. That's October. That's December. That's the same. That's the same. There's nothing on here that says premium. Nope. So I'm going to just go with the one that has, it has calendars. It's got calendar dates. That's exactly it. That's all we need to know. That is all we needed to know. That's it. See how that just disarmed that whole question? Because if you were not doing that you would have to figure out the spread you would have been figuring out is that a is that a premium is that that just shortcutted everything yeah it, I, I just went by what the words guys i went by what the words said on the screen period all right next next and that wasn't so bad nah all right there's a lot of words here there's a lot of words here and i'm gonna, gonna do that all right Oh, why do you got to be so mean, Brandy? Because I love to think. Yay, lots of words. I agree. All right. The offer would be made under the jurisdiction of both Illinois and Wisconsin. Okay, so I got to know what's going on in Illinois and Wisconsin. Right. The offer would be under the jurisdiction of Wisconsin only. We all know what we say about Mona. Yeah. It's usually not true. No. Usually not true. Placing an advertisement in a bona fide newspaper is not considered you an didn't say it right. Huh? Bona fide. Bon- oh, bona fide. Bona fide. Yeah, you gotta say it like you're from the South. Bona fide. Bona fide. Right. All right, good. Okay. Um, I was reading my official my official voice. Um, and therefore would not be under the jurisdiction of either the Illinois or Wisconsin administrator. Um, I gotta find out what what's what's the ad. Yeah. I, I don't know. I want to know about this bona fide newspaper. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then the last one is the offer would be under the jurisdiction of the Illinois only. Hmm. Another only. All right. So let's read what's happening. We got a Wisconsin only and we got an Illinois only. What's going on here? Black Stripe. Black Stripe Brokers puts an advertisement in the Chicago, by the way, guys, if you didn't know, it's Illinois, Tribune for their services of buying and selling securities. Christy Johnson, located in Wisconsin, thank you for not putting that as a city, reads about their services in the Chicago Tribune, which of the following is true regarding the jurisdiction of the administrator. Well, if you guys are studying for your 63, it would tell us that there is no jurisdiction if two thirds is out of the state. So now you're probably thinking, well, she's sitting in Ill- she's sitting in a different state, so it's probably no jurisdiction, right? That's not true. See, it doesn't say a number, right? Right. Of circulation. We have no idea. It could be four people reading it. Exactly. So don't add to the question. It's bona fide. So because it's not there, I'm just going to go ahead and assume that it's going to be the jurisdiction of the Illinois administrator only. Not both, not Wisconsin. No, it's only Illinois. It's where it's published. I don't know if you guys realize that the Chicago Tribune would be published. Which has a pretty good circulation, by the way. 
It does. It does. And it would have to mean that there's none of their, like only one third of their circulation would be in the state of Illinois. I feel like that's not going to be true. Right. Right. So that is that. And it's not an offer. So this actually, this whole thing about the jurisdiction, there's no offer there. That, that, that was not the reason why this would have no jurisdiction. Right. We don't even see the word offer, do we? Nope. Nope. This is advertising our services. All right. The offer thing was a trap. It was a trap. All right. The arbitration panel can include two non-public arbitrators. The arbitrators must leak, all be registered as principals. The arbitrators must all be selected from a pool of arbitrators, and each of them must be affiliated in some way with the securities industry. Wow, a lot of must. A lot of must. There's like two must in there. That's a lot of legal. A majority of the arbitrators will not be employed in the securities industry. Wow, that's really simple. Yes, it is. That's very simplistic. Yeah, it's very simple. Um, I do like the word can in A. Yeah, because it's usually reasonable. Exactly. But the not employed by the securities industry, I know for sure that if this involves a customer complaint or a customer allegation or like the customer is complaining, um, if it involves a customer, then D is the right answer. So let's now read the question. Well, it appears it says a customer. Okay, then the answer is D. But you didn't read the rest. Okay, so here's the thing. So it says a customer has a claim for 250000 against her brokerage firm that is being settled by arbitration, which of the following is true. Now, would it be true to say, no, it wouldn't be. A is opposite because A says non-public, which means they are in the industry. See how that little, they snuck that little keyword thing in there, not, not in the public. It's not in the public that it means it's in in inside. Different rules. It's not to the public. All right, one more. One more question. Got it. It's easy. It's easy. Look at it. It's short. There's apples and bananas. Apples and bananas. Now, if we went by Andy, Andy's take. That's an ant. That is absolutely facts. That one says only. That one says only. That one says nor, which is never. Yeah. So then it Andy would be B. Would be Andy would have picked B. Andy would have picked B. Now, the only reason, the only other reason why I'm picking B as my answer is I also see apple here and I see banana there. And why wouldn't it be both? Right. But let's read the question. Let's read the question. It says an agent in state A and state A and state Apple calls investors in state banana to try to sell them some stocks. Where has the offer been made? Well, we talk about offers being dun, 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 from to and accepted in. So from Apple to banana, both are. There you go. There you go. The and comes oh. through again. And didn't on the last one. And I didn't want to point that out. It's a song. <laughs> yes, it's true. Apples and bananas. Might not work all the time. Yes. But the and is a really good thing to kind of look out for. I, I don't want to admit it because it's a weird, it's a weird thing. It's a weird glitch. It's a weird glitch, but it does seem like the majority of the time. The ants have it. Not all the time. Not all the time. But it's worth looking into. Yeah. Yeah. Like Lysol. <laughs> Not 100%. Ah, but, uh, yeah. Close enough. Majority. Get most of the germs off anyway. All right. Well, that's all we had for tonight. We went over those questions. I hope that was uh, enlightening for you. I hope you look at it. You go and use those same kind of techniques, those skill sets, those drills, if you will. And go apply it to your quizzes. Make sure that you do that during this weekend. I know there's lots of distractions. We got spring breaks. We've got, you know, kids are out of school. We have things planned. We got, uh, you know, there's uh, conferences to attend. There's meetings to attend. There's whatever there is out there. Yes. But you got to make sure that you still study. You got to make sure that if you're going to have a crazy day, you know the day is going to be nuts. Well, you know what you you give yourself and do the self yourself a service 
put in your calendar. You're going to get your studying done early in the morning. Get up a little bit earlier. Just knock it out for the day. And the rest of the day, you're just living carefree. You know what I mean? You're like, I already knocked it out. I already did it. I already put my time in. Right. And that way it's off your shoulders and you stayed within the program. So that's what I would suggest to you and everybody else. Remember, we got those workshops on uh, Saturday morning for free. Uh, Members, we'll see you tomorrow and Sunday. We'll be back for the evening espresso for all new. Oh, it's going to be good on Sunday. I don't know what Brandy's going to do, but it's going to be good. Yeah, it is. Uh, She's had a whole week and a half to think about it. I already know. So. Yeah. Be there, right? (laughs) All right. Until then, everybody, take care of yourself. Oh, I want to add one more thing. Anthony, one of our students, his entire family is on its way to Europe right now. Please pray for their safe return. Uh, And I'm a, a, you know, he asked me, hey, guys, keep me in the prayers. We're going to be on the road. Uh, So there you go. I believe in the power of prayer. And if you hit me up and ask me to pray for you guys, I will too. Yes. And I'll throw it out there for everybody. Um, so stay safe, Anthony. Everybody else, make sure to wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your friend's face. That's all I know. Keep that positive mental attitude. PMA, everybody. Have a great night. Guys, thank you so much for being on. We super appreciate you. Don't forget to take your quizzes tonight and through the weekend. And we will see you next time. Have a great one. All right. <laughs>